In this video, I'm going to be creating some garden outdoor decor using all Dollar Tree items. Coming up next. Hi everyone and welcome back to Belinda's DIYs where I'll show you how to create beautiful but affordable DIYs for your home and also seasonal decor. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll be creating this jeweled stand. This can be used to adorn your landscape area or you can use it as a side table. And if you've been wanting to add some beautiful lights to your garden, I'll be creating these for just a few dollars. In the daytime, these colorful vases add such beauty to any garden. Lastly, I'll be creating a candle holder that gives off soft, glowy lights that peek through the small openings. This DIY is perfect for relaxing and unwinding with your favorite drink. For the first DIY, I'll be using several of these glass gems and I'll be using several bags with different colors. And just a reminder that all these items come from Dollar Tree. Some fix-all adhesive, three plastic clear round large trays, some black spray paint, one large plastic flower pot, and one wire trash can basket. I'm going to first start off by creating the jewel tray. I'm going to go in with some super glue and then hot glue and then layer the second tray and then just repeat it until all three of them are stacked together. I could have used a pizza pan for its sturdiness, however I wanted the tray to be transparent and a look of glass stain if you will. Okay, so now I'm ready to start adding the gems to my tray and here I'm just pointing out that I've separated them, the colors that I'm going to be using and applying them to the tray. So what I'm doing here is arranging my gems where I want them to be. There is no wrong way, just whatever pattern that you want to create. These are so beautiful that really just putting them in whatever color combination looks beautiful, I think. Because this tray is going to be outside, I'm going to be using some super glue and also some hot glue to adhere my gems. And I'll be doing that to all of them. As you can see here, I totally changed the pattern that I was initially going for. In this particular project, you are the artist, so you create whatever art you want. Dollar Tree has so many different color of gems and also stones. You can even use the white stones or the black stones. It really doesn't matter. Here I'm using the large clear gems. What I wanted this to be is a flower in the center, so I'm trying to create the stem for that flower. And this is how the tray turned out and I think it's a really pretty piece of art. So I added the flower in the center and then I added the green stem and then I also decided to add the green gems all around the edge of my tray. And here's a close-up. As you can see there is some gaps between the gems but I think it's okay because the tray is clear. I think it just blends in well. For the stand, I'll be using the wire basket and the flower pot. The flower pot will be used as the bottom base for my stand. The first thing that I'm going to do is turn the flower pot upside down and then I'm going to remove the bottom label and then I'll be super gluing both bottoms just like this. I'm going to start by going in with a super glue and I'm going to put it on the bottom side of the flower pot. And I'm just going to go all around with it. Then I'm going to place the wire basket on top and I'm just going to press it down and hold it for a while. And then to give it that instant hold, I'm going to add some hot glue in the center. And then I'm going to hold it down in place until the hot glue hardens. I've given the glues about an hour or so to harden and now it's ready for me to take it outside and spray paint it with some black spray paint. 
The paint is dry now and this is how the stand looks. You can also use another wire basket as the bottom base, but I wanted mine to be just a little bit different and also a little bit more sturdy with the flower pot. I'll be going in with some more super glue to connect the tray and the stand. So I'll be adding the super glue all around the rim of the top of the basket. And now I'm going to place a tray over it and I pretty much try to center it as best as I can. I'm going to go ahead and add some weight to it and leave it like that overnight. For the next outdoor DIY project, I'll be using five of these color vases from Dollar Tree. Five solar lights, some painter's tape. Using some leftover glass gems, I'll be gluing them to the front of the vases, creating different patterns. For permanent hold, I'll be using a super glue and additionally adding some hot glue for instant hold. Next, I'm going to add some painter's tape over them and I'm just going to leave them like this overnight to make sure that the gems adhere well. Okay, so it's the next day now and I'm going to remove the painter's tape and this is how this first vase turned out. And here are all of them. Next, I'm going to remove the stand from the solar light and also the little tab that it has to turn on the light and then I'm just going to drop in the solar light right into the top of the vase just like this. I'll be repeating the same steps to all the other vases. Since these are going to be outside, I'm going to be adding a similar of those glass gems inside the vase. That way it will weigh them down. This is such a simple and easy way to decorate your garden. the last DIY, I'll be using this tin flower pot. So let me tell you really quickly what I did. I had my husband drill some holes all the way around and um, I didn't show you because this is something that I thought of to do unexpectedly. Anyhow, this is what I'll be using for this DIY. I'll be using some pewter gray acrylic paint and also some Waverly chalk paint in the color white and some more acrylic paint in the color burnt umber. Also some beauty sponges. So I'm going to start painting the flower pot and what I'm going to do is make this seem as if it has a distressed galvanized look. 
So I'm going to be mixing several colors, the pewter gray, the white, and I did add a little bit of black, but I really didn't need it. So you don't need any black. But all I'm going to do is just pat on the color and just mixing the white and the pewter gray. I'll be adding now the burnt umber, but I am going to be using this piece of shelf liner and I'll be using this as a sponge. I'm going to start by adding the paint to all the holes because I want this to look as if the holes have rusted. And the reason that I'm using the shelf liner is because I think it gives me the texture that I'm needing for this technique. And I also added some paint at the bottom and the top of the rim and just anywhere where I felt I wanted it to look rusted out. And then all I did is drop a candle in there and it was good to go. that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day and remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.